Hello, good evening, students. So today we are going to finish our um, chapter number chapter number eight, a treat for mosquitoes, and this is the last part of this chapter. So what is here? Let's see. We found something green around the taps in our school, which is called algae. So here two groups have been divided, uh, means children has been have been divided into two groups for their survey and group one and group two they have given their individual reports. So we found something green around the taps in our school which is called algae. This is group one's report. Due to algae, a kind of plant, algae is a kind of plant, it had also become slippery there. The algae spreads a lot during the rainy season. Basically, this algae spreads a lot during the rainy season. We think that there are some kind of small plants that grow in that grow in water. Basically, these plants, algae, grow better in water. Now, group 2 report. There is a pond near the school. At first, you cannot see the water in the pond as it is completely covered with plants. So, there is a pond very near or very close to the school, but you cannot see the water from the outside because the entire water has been covered by the plants. One auntie told us that these plants have grown themselves in water. Around the pond, there are pits full of water. We also saw some larvae in the water. As we moved around, lots of mosquitoes flew from the plants growing around. Jaskirat feels that there are so many mosquitoes in her house because of this dirty pond nearby. So generally we knew that if there is a pond very close to our house or drains very close to our house, so this is a very good place to take bath for the larva of the mosquitoes very means prominent place to grow and if that that is very very dirty place then it will help to grow the larva very fast for the mosquitoes so there are two reports from group one and group two now students so we will learn about the story of Ronald Ross. A scientist peeps into a mosquito's stomach. This interesting incident took place almost a hundred years ago. A scientist almost a hundred years ago, keep in your mind, a scientist found out that mosquitoes spread malaria that you know. Let's read about this discovery in this in his own words. Now will listen the words of this scientist my father was a general in the indian army i started to become a doctor but what i really liked was reading stories writing poetry music and drama in my free time i enjoyed doing all this so actually what he told my father was a general in Indian Army, so his father was working in defense. I started to become a doctor, but what I really liked was reading stories. Though he wants to, wanted to become a doctor, but he liked to read out the stories, different stories, writing poetry. These were the hobbies of Ronald Ross, listening music and doing drama. In my free time, I enjoyed doing all these. In those days, thousands of people used to die from a disease that we now call malaria. So that time, no one knew about malaria. So there was a very like uh, epidemic like like of situation, and the disease name is malaria. Later on, it was discovered. The disease was found in areas where there was a lot of rain. Basically, this kind of diseases. Uh, can be found where lot of rain or in swampy places. People thought that the illness was caused by some poisonous gas. At that moment, people thought this was caused by or this illness was caused by some poisonous gas that ca came from the dirty swampy areas. 
they gave it the name malaria which means bad air malaria means bad air means mal air from their malaria one doctor had seen tiny germs in the blood of one of the patients when he dis observed it under a microscope so if uh, means at that moment who was suffered by malaria so his blood has been tested by one doctor and he seen some uh, tiny germs in uh, in the blood of that patient under the microscope but he could not understand how this had got into the patient's blood but these germs how came into the blood of the patient he cannot or could not explain able to explain my professor had some ideas about this my professor means ronald ross professor professor i think that these may be carried by some kind of mosquito as his student i spent all my time chasing mosquitoes so i think that I means his professor I means ronald ross's professor had given some ideas to ronald ross he thought that means his professor thought that these germs may be carried by some mosquito so as a student as uh, ronald ross was a student of the, uh, his professor so being a student i spent all my time chasing mosquitoes to catch and observe so he was every day or every moment in a day he was catching the mosquitoes and observing properly we used to carry empty bottles and chase mosquito after mosquito so in an empty bottle he was chasing the mosquitoes and catching and keeping inside the bottle then we would put the mosquitoes into a mosquito net in which there was a patient of malaria so after chasing and keeping the mosquitoes from the bottle he was releasing them inside the patient's net inside the patient's net in which there was a patient of malaria malaria patient's net inside that the mosquitoes would have a feast beating these patients so if mosquito should get the chance to take the blood from a body so they have at that moment very fun means they have a feast beating these patients the continuous beating the patients were paid one anna for allowing one mosquito to bite them so patients were also getting money for that one mosquito bite for that one anna charged by every patient so ridiculous story i will always remember those days at the hospital in secunderabad how we used to cut the open mosquito stomach and peep into it so he was trying to remember his um, those uh, hospital days in secunderabad that moment he was catching the mosquitoes uh, releasing them inside the net of the malaria patient and after that whenever the mosquitoes taking the blood from the patient's body that moment catching the uh, afterwards catching the mosquitoes and cutting their uh, afterwards cutting their stomach and peep, peep into it so they they were taking the blood samples from inside the stomach of the mosquito i would spend hours and hours bent over the microscope and he was checking that blood sample under the microscope hours and hours over day and night by night my neck would be stiff and my eyes could not see clearly so all day whenever you will observe um, uh, for long time a particular thing that moment your neck should get stiff and you cannot see properly the other things it used to be very hot but we dared not fan ourselves though it was very very hot at the moment but uh, we dared not fan ourselves they were not switching on the fan as all the mosquitoes would fly if they will switch on the fan may all the mosquitoes would fly off in the breeze with the breeze of the fan that's why they were getting dared so that's why they were not switch on the fan once i also feel ill with malaria so maybe once he also felt with malaria like this i spent months like this with the microscope but could not find anything so months of months were getting passed but he was not able to find out anything one day we caught a few mosquitoes that looked different so one day he caught few mosquitoes they were looked different they were brownish with spotted wings spotted wings were there and body color was looked like brownish 
when i looked into the stomach of one of the female mosquito i saw something black there so when he observed properly the stomach of those female mosquitoes that moment he see, uh, saw that something black over there i looked closer i saw that there these tiny germs looked just like the ones that were found in the blood of malaria patient so he saw that whatever the germs he observed in the malaria patient's blood similar type of germs he can see inside the stomach of that mosquito or those mosquitoes at last we had the proof mosquitoes did spread malaria so from there he got the proof mosquitoes are spreading malaria in december 1902 ronald ross got the highest award for this discovery the nobel prize for this medicine in 1905 he got the nobel prize also for this in 1905 even as he lay dying rona ross's last words were i will find something i will find something new so whenever whenever he was dying that moment also the last word he told i will find something i will find something new so all the time he was curious every moment to get something new uh, to discover something new to invent something like this so very nice story students and one more video is attached with it you can see and enjoy so wait for my next class today up to this wait for my next class thank you visit again christians made Scottish scientist Ronald Ross discovered the cause of malaria and how it spread. He found that malaria is caused by a parasite carried within the gut of certain mosquitoes and passed on to animals by the bite of the mosquito. His discovery gave the world and scientists a way to attack and manage the disease. He knew that his discovery would reduce the number of deaths in the world due to malaria. His discovery continues to save billions of lives today. Ronald Ross was born on 13th of May 1857 in Elmora in the Himalayas. He was the son of a British general posted to serve in India. When he was 8, he was sent to England for his education. At the age of 14, he won a prize for mathematics. At age 17, he started studying medicine in London. For his entertainment he wrote plays and poetry and composed music. He graduated in 1880 and soon joined the India Medical Service. In 1895 he began studying malaria. He researched malaria at Secunderabad in South India and in Mumbai in Western India. The 20th of August 1897 was a significant day in the fight against malaria. On that day Ross observed the presence of the malarial parasite inside the gut of a mosquito. The parasite had come from an infected patient. The next day he also confirmed that the parasite grows in the mosquito. The British Medical Journal published his findings on 18th of December 1897. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1902 and became Britain's and India's first Nobel Prize winner. Ross returned to England in 1899 and joined the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. He was knighted in 1911. In 1912 he became a physician for tropical diseases at King's College Hospital London and later director of the Ross Institute and Hospital for Tropical Diseases which was founded in his honor. In addition to mathematical papers, poems and fictional works He wrote the book The Prevention of Malaria which was published in 1910. Ronald Ross was a poet and mathematician. He was also a practicing Christian. On the evening of his great discovery, he composed the following poem praising God for his discovery. He saw that just as Christ had reduced the sting of death, he too was reducing the sting of death by reducing deaths due to malaria. This is the poem This day relenting God hath placed within my hand a wondrous thing and God be praised at his command seeking his secret deeds with tears and toiling breath I find thy cunning seeds o million murdering death 
I know this little thing a myriad men will save. O death, where is thy sting? The victory, O grave. Ronald Ross died in 1932, aged 75. We salute Ronald Ross, a Christian and scientist who has saved millions from death caused by malaria. Christians, malaria.